Hello guys and welcome to the third section of this course. In the last section, we invested a lot of time in uh, enabling various sign-in providers and uh, having a look at configuring them in the first place. Now, after all that, it's finally time for us to implement the front end. And we'll start that by implementing a few styles in our Angular application. So we will uh, import a few style classes uh, from Bootstrap and some from Fontosum, and we'll be creating our own classes as well for the buttons that we will uh, then be implementing in our template. So uh, let me just quickly copy this style and paste it inside the styles.css. Now I will have access to the Bootstrap as well as uh, the Fontosum libraries because I've already installed them as packages, um, and you can already see them inside the package.json file. Uh, once that is installed, I'll be able to access uh, them inside my styles.css file. And I've used the Bootstrap's uh, minified CSS file. And then uh, I will also be using a few icons from Fontosum. So these icons are related to a few brands like Google, Facebook, Twitter, and GitHub. Uh, and apart from that, there are a few uh, regular fonts as well as a few solid fonts uh, or solid icons. So I will be using these um, classes or these uh, style providers. And apart from that, I've created a few classes for the buttons um, for Google sign-in, Facebook sign-in, Twitter, GitHub, email, and phone sign-in. So uh, once these are implemented, I can again serve up my application. And uh, this is again going to take some time. So let's wait for it to serve up. And now that the application is serving uh, properly, I can see that uh, the styles have been applied because the font has changed and so has a few other things in here. Okay, so the styles have been applied successfully. Now that was it regarding this video. In the next video, we'll talk about uh, implementing the template for our Angular application. So I'll see you guys in there.